What is up guys? Today we are reacting to six millennials trying to find out one sicker Gen Zer. I'm very pumped because I'm a millennial. Alex hey on the side is a millennial as well. And I feel like I can sniff a Gen Zer. I'm be honest. I can sniff a Gen Zer. First of all, I'm gonna look for crew socks. That's that oh no, yeah, crew socks. Baggy jeans. Baggy, baggy, baggy pants. But I will I'm a little I'm gonna look for diamonds on teeth, which is a trend I recently learned about. Gen Z has diamonds on their teeth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like little studs on their teeth. That being said, let's figure it out. I'm a millennial. I'm a millennial. I'm a millennial. I am a millennial. I'm a millennial. I'm a millennial. I'm a millennial. Never mind, guys. I have no idea who the millennial is. This is tough. <laughs> I didn't think any of these guys. I would have I would have thought that this video was titled Six Secret Gen Z's and we find one millennial. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no idea. I feel, okay, all of these people I feel have visual trends. Except for the top left, top middle, maybe top right, that I associate more with Gen Z. I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I'm immediately suspect of bottom left and top left. Bottom left, top left? Okay. I, I, I'm not sus on, I'm least sus on second from right, bottom, and top row, if I had to. I feel like dangly earrings, bottom left. What was everyone's AOL A messenger name? Ooh. I was crushed up 40. I was a big Sonic fan. The band Crush 40 was my whole thing. Oh, Millennial. Yeah. Mine was Van Helsing 2099. My earliest A memories is actually probably in the fourth grade. And I remember that being mind blowing to me that, oh shit, I can communicate with my friends via the computer. This is too much information for Gen Z. I feel like Gen Z wouldn't even think about this being a shift. Gen Z wouldn't think that this didn't exist ever. Yeah, yeah. I, also, crushed up 40? That sounds like a crushed up forward, like, the alcohol. Oh, d yeah, 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 it? yeah, it does. I'm like, Sonic? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> crushed up 40, to me, that's like, I worked in a liquor store. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. You could do the dial-up sound? <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do it, though, I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, he, that was actually like, Mine the was best. Mine was Pretty Rave Girl after a MySpace song that I was in love with, Pretty but I'd never girl. been to a rave at that point. Love it. I actually didn't have any because I was born and grew up in Japan and AOL wasn't a thing. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. I also didn't have any. I was in the Philippines when I was younger. So uh -oh. Before in the Albert. Philippines, I feel like there was a lag. Uh, devices were not exactly updated like how they were in America. Mine was Dollcat okay, 101. That's a twist, I man. I don't know how to, because I know nothing about Gen Z versus millennial con culture or the, uh, from other countries. I, that's going to be... Well, the, the fact that, that Albert did ding, ding, dong, ding, yeah. ding, 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 and I'm also wondering, like, because he jumped on that excuse after the other girl had already yeah. made the excuse. Real quick. That makes me wonder, okay, is, it, is he telling the truth? Yeah. Like, did he actually, actually grow up in the Philippines? I think it was because there was this game that I really liked, and then I also liked the Pussycat Dolls. Was it, like, Wizard 101, or? Um, no, Wizard 101 wasn't the game. It was, like, a, like a dress-up doll type game. I feel like I remember what you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, I like, played it like a, yeah, like the little virtual, yeah, like dress up your doll yeah, game. Yeah, I played so many of those. Can anyone bust a dance move right now? <laughs> what? <laughs> I asked about dance moves because I thought it'd be fun to see everyone kind of showing themselves dancing. Do oh, the doggy? The jerk? Okay, okay actually, I'm sorry to believe him. Millennials don't know how to jerk or the doggy. Do you know the jerk? And, did you know what those moves I, were? I feel like, I feel like, uh, Gen Z, that, those are all coming back. The jerk and the doggy? I feel like they've got so many other moves. SpongeBob. <laughs> what about this? That, that's uh, discount. What do you call it again? <laughs> the Macarena, right? There you go. Okay. That's timeless. That's not generational, though. Do it like this. Also, that's 70s, dog. That's before our time. That's 70s disco. Yeah, what are you talking about? For me, I guess, like, ever since I was in elementary school, I, like, memorized, like, the Soldier Boy. Hell yeah. So that was, like, my shit. Oh, crank that. Oh, shit. I did. But, hey, there you go. Okay, that's interesting. I have a distinct memory that crank that was my freshman year of college. So I was like, damn, he would have had to have been pretty young for him to still be in elementary school. Bro, how old is 10? What? Soldier Boy so, was like in, in elementary school for, for me. you? Middle school for me. No. Yeah, yeah. what in the world? How old are you, dog? Oh, he's well, we're young. We're yeah, young. we're young millennials. Well, I'm well, you're, young millennials. <laughs> you're arguably a cuss. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Gen Z. No, no, no. You're no. Gen Z. You no, should, no. Oh, you're the fake no. Gen Z. No. You, can, you should be <laughs> sniffing these guys out. Not me, man. Like, ah, uh, so 10 must be like old. Yeah, 10. He doesn't look old though. Yeah. <laughs> when that song was popping. 
what was everybody's favorite cartoon when they were a kid? Like, you know what? This sounds stupid, but I'd be like, what's your birthday? Wait, when were you born? <laughs> I'm just going serious. Yeah, yeah. When were you born? 2001. Because if you don't know when the line is between Gen Z and Millennial, like, yeah. I, I'm 1992. Yeah. Right? I feel like you would hesitate. I'm like, you're hesitating on your birthday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't come. Even if you were lying, you could have come in here, but I think you could catch somebody out. Already, if you're uh, in Philippines, you might know this, but my favorite was Doraemon, which is about this, like, cat-shaped robot. Oh, I've seen and that. And he got this, like, little pocket and has a bunch of gadget to, like, help people out. R-A. Oh, wait, yeah, I know. that. that hey! Um, It's like a tiny, like, blue dude. Yes, right? and yes. And he has, like, yes. kind of like a cat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I remember Because I know, like, that was airing, like, all over the yeah, Asia. Yeah, that was popping so. in Asia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, it was more like I mean everyone loves Dragon Ball. Right? Mm-hmm. When Dude, you say Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball, you mean Dragon Ball? Do you mean original Dragon Ball? Oh, or Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. 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 You mean Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. Z. I was gonna say original Dragon Ball, like, mm. and then Z came out later, but. And GT. Yeah. Well, oh, GT. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, get this guy out! Get this guy out! He's he's such a Gen Z. He didn't even try to dress like a millennial. He's, yeah. he's got the baggiest pants. On that alone, we should kick him if I, we're I'm, trying to sniff out Gen Zers, man. He did a good job with the AOL. The thing. AOL was great, and everything else has been a travesty. And the AOL thing wasn't in front of anybody else. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's, he's the go, dude. Yeah. I feel like he's too obvious, which makes me think he's not, but he's... <laughs> Let's hold on. We don't need to remember that one. <laughs> For okay. me, it was Real Monsters. Are you monsters, yo? Let me dap you for that, bro. Let me dap you for that, bro. Let me dap you for that. Oh, wow. That's, that's, I gotta dap you Is that yours, too? I wouldn't say it was my number one, but I mean, that was heavy on the Nicktoons. If I had to choose one from that time, maybe Doug. Oh, Doug. What's up? Doug. It was on Nickelodeon. Oh, Doug. Same, yeah, yeah. same time mm-hmm. as uh, Our Real Monsters yeah. was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boring. I watched a lot of Dexter's Laboratory. Yes! Oh, Dexter's Laboratory was sick. I watched that Dexter's Laboratory, and the reason that made me a little bit sus is because I feel like normally people would say just Dexter's Lab. That's what it was in the theme song. That's in fair. Dexter's Lab. I really liked when Dexter would tell Dee Dee to get out of his laboratory, like, get out of my laboratory. I just liked the word laboratory, so. I'm trying to think of one that somebody hasn't named that I like aside from that. I watched a lot of, like, cartoons. Network, yeah. so, so for that me, ever was Cow and Chicken, yeah. Johnny Bravo. I actually kind of liked Johnny Bravo, but looking back, I'm like, why? That should... Why she was <laughs> fishing information. Yeah. Do you hear that? No, she needs to go. Get we we get both of them. Gone. Her her um aim name or AOL name was Rave Girl. Rave Girl. I, no way. No way. That young. That's correct. Well, we were young. Oh yeah, right. we were young. I don't they know. Can be, they can be quite a lot older than yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, they were right. talking about Dragon Ball. I was like, no one I knew watched Dragon Ball because that there's, was old people. There's like there's like a. Was it forty-five-year-old millennials? Really? I, I maybe well, I guess I'm thirty-one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not that much older than there's, me. There's old millennials. Dude, I don't sure. feel like I'm in the same generation as the oldest millennials. Yeah, I feel yeah. like millennials is like two generations. There's younger millennials and older millennials, and we don't really have many shared life experiences. Yeah. Like if you actually re- grew up in the '90s versus you actually grew up in the 2000s. I grew up in the 2000s. Oh yeah. It's completely, completely different. different. Completely different. Show was terrible, but I did watch it a lot. <laughs> I love Johnny. It definitely hit at the time. I love Johnny Bravo. Oh, you have hated Johnny Bravo. Thank you. <laughs> Man, I'm pretty. Get. Yeah, he's got to go. She was so that Alex. many on Alex. She also gave the look of a Gen Z. He's he's throwing he stones that. in a glass house. Is all I'm saying. Soldier Boy came out when he was in elementary school, and I know how old I was. I think I was like late middle school, so that doesn't sound right. Oh. Carol. Okay. Good luck, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I'm surprised it ain't and hell got no a very votes. Gen Z. Not even look. one. But I was just hoping that they would not think that the Gen Z person would be as obvious. Hey, <laughs> come check this out. I don't think you want to miss this. Oh, uh, we actually do want to miss it. <laughs> you Weeks. So the bust. These are killed. And cook description. How All many? right. So my okay, question for you is, <laughs> what was the first CD album you bought? The first one I bought for myself was Get Rich or Die Trying 50 Cent. That was the one that your parents would be like, no, I'm not buying that for you. Like, That's right. So my friends and I would skip. Oh, this is this is, this is is the peak of my troublemaking, this shift making career. My friends and I would get dropped off to elementary school early so we could like skip school, but not really because school hadn't even started yet, and go walk to the candy store. And my friend would like play Get Rich or Die Trying. I'd be like... This is insane. I can't believe he's playing these words. Like, candy shop? Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Did he just say he's going to have her lick his lollipop? 
this is scandalous. And we'd be going to the candy store and then we would just do that. That was like, that's hilarious. Get that one. Right. Yeah. I get that. I was Marshall Mathers. I, <gasps> yeah, there was yes. my name is, I played that song on repeat what? and it's yeah. the worst song that your parents <laughs> never want to hear. I actually listened to that song when I was still in Japan. So like, I didn't like fully understand English back then. So I was listening up. a lot. My parents didn't care because they don't speak English either. Oh, so, so you got away with murder. I was a free, I'm totally. <laughs> That's a good loophole. Yeah. For me, it was that, whatever the good Charlotte album was, there was this good Charlotte album, like, this is the end, to throw all your hands up. It was that one. Anything that was like digging here was also big in Japan. So like, I don't know how popular Full House was, but I grew up watching that when I was in Japan. I'm not Uncle sus Jesse, on Sayaka. Everybody had yeah, a crush yeah, yeah. on him. So I think that's universal. Who what about you? It? I think it was like Usher, Usher. Confessions. Usher. See the thing about you that caught Man, my this guy is Britney Spears, maybe one more time, and I made my mom play it in the car like every day on the nice. way to school. Mine was Spice Girls, the first album. Oh, yeah. Who was your favorite Spice Girl? Baby Spice. Yeah. She's answering I actually was eating like a Chupa Chops, that little lollipop no, that she had. No, Chupa like. Chops. Do they still make those? Does anyone know? They do in Japan. I don't know about here. Is or... it a Japanese candy? No, no, no. I think it's like somewhere from Europe, right? Oh, from I, Spain, I think, it, because Spain. Okay. I think Dali designed the, the thing. You, you're right. Oh, you're right. what? Oh, That's cool. cool. What was your guys' like after school activity back then? For yeah. me, I was a little antisocial, so I just stayed at home and like drew and like me read. Too. So I read like Harry Potter books. Like yeah. I was a huge fan of those, so yeah. I would like read them. Bro, over she's dropping. I don't know. I'm sus on her. The longer she talks, she's dropping only. She fished for information. She's dropping what books that I read? Harry Potter, the biggest book series yeah. that every it, Gen Z would know. She didn't go like, um, oh, what was that? There was that time traveling treehouse. You remember that? Did you read that? Alice? Oh, um, the time traveling treehouse. Yeah, yeah, with yeah, the, yeah. With the boy and the Shoot. girl. Dude, there was a scene that scarred me for life where they got dropped into a new area in time, and it was shark infested waters, oh, and yeah. they had to swim to shore, <laughs> and they just did like backstroke. What? Oh, goosebumps. Oh, I didn't read Goosebumps. I was oh, scared. I love Goosebumps. Oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, Animorphs. Did you read Animorphs? Animorphs. 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 But she's saying Harry Potter, which everybody knows. Yes. Like, Gen Z might not know Animorphs. Gen Z might not know Magic Treehouse. Oh, Magic yeah. Treehouse. Magic Treehouse, yeah. That's yeah, it. that's yeah, what yeah, it was. That was it. So, uh, book fairs. Yep. Book fairs, right? Ooh, book, book fairs. fairs yeah. And you would, like, go to the ones your parents wouldn't let you read out. Hey, oh, yeah. Uh, I have this big ass computer and I love just to spend the whole afternoon writing books. So I wrote three books because I was okay. in love what? with what? one of my friends. Are you an author right now? <laughs> no, I'm not. I write <laughs> science so fiction artsy. and I draw. I draw. I played like, uh, you know, the speed I'm sus on that. Who had a personal, because he said I had a big computer. No, I don't think anyone had family. Everyone had family computers that yeah. I knew. Like everyone had family computers. No one had a personal computer until like deep middle school or or even high school yeah i'm ready yeah i i agree with you I, yeah. I, she needs to go and he yeah. needs to go and i i feel like if they got rid of the read some books guy and then albert and then the uh, blonde lady i think the rest are millennials yeah i think so too. Beyblade. Oh, Beyblade. Beyblade. Yes. Okay. Beyblade. Yeah, 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 yeah. what was your guys Jinji has Beyblade though too like, they still make it I was really? yeah they blew up the moon in an episode bro really <laughs> they like shot a Beyblade at the moon no and shot. they blew it up isn't that crazy <laughs> that is crazy yo oh, yes yeah yeah the fact that you said WWF though <laughs> Who was your yeah. favorite wrestler? I loved Hulk Hogan. I loved Triple H when it went to WWE. He's an elder millennial. I was, was it Sean? Oh my God. Sean Heartbreaker. Michaels? Yeah, Harp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, HBK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sean Michaels. <laughs> Sweet chin music, bro. That, those were my gay awakenings, but. <laughs> <laughs> was anyone into video games? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. video games. Yeah. What's everyone's favorite yeah. or first, system or game then? First console? Uh, 64, Nintendo 64. First console was NES. I was yeah. NES, baby. I was a GameCube. That was your first console? Not my first console. I was a GBA first, and then I went GameCube, and that's why I was a GameCube guy. I'm a SNES, um, uh -huh. and I had Street Fighter, I believe. Yeah, like, bro. I was not a video game person, but my brother had a PlayStation 2. I, that's like the Ooh. oldest one I remember. And so, okay, yeah. yeah that one and so we'd play like Mario Kart and things like that together. On PS2? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. On Pause. PS2. Miss, ma'am, ma'am. We are. She's uh, out of here. Uh, even if she is, she needs to go. Yeah. <laughs> she needs to go. So. They didn't make it for PS2. Oh. But you didn't. One of them. I'm just, yeah, but, no, but I didn't play yeah, games. Okay. I was just like, yeah, I know, whatever. I she said the oldest game she played was like PS2. That's when I clocked her that she could be Gen Z. Because like my first was Nintendo, so. It's just because of the GameCube, but what would you do if this 
Oh, Damn. you blow him. Oh. No <laughs> way. Listen, you know how much you blow? Bro. Yeah. All Nintendo products you blow into to make it work. Can we have you do it? Do you still have They're getting too excited and they're answering before the actually suspicious people have a chance. And then they can keep going like, oh yeah. Did you see the blonde girl? She's she was like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I know. Everything yeah, yeah. is so non-committal. Yeah. It's what I do when like... I don't remember who people are. Yeah, yeah. And they're talking to me and they know who I am. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. you! Yeah. <laughs> just super vague statements. Yeah. 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 No! Uh, to be fair, I'm, I'm pretty sure multiple people have said that that doesn't actually work, though, that it was in our heads. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah. I know. I've, I've, yeah. Yeah. You see her looking at him like, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. There's no way, dude. She is not. She is, she's Jim Z for what sure. Was, what was your first game? My first game console? Yeah. Sega Dreamcast, if you don't count Game Boys. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, was... yeah I'm older than you. Well, Dream, Dreamcast, I remember inheriting a Dreamcast, and it was just, I tried to get it to work, uh, so, and it never worked. Dude, it was a fun system. Yeah, it was bet, so I good. I played, I played Sonic. I don't remember 40s being crushed. That's yeah. why I'm still like, God, what are you talking yeah. about? Blondie's got to go. May I ask a question or no? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Coral, yeah, she's, she's out. She's really young. She also seemed like the one that was talking the least. I agree with her, but also Albert, really? He's no talking. <laughs> Albert said enough that I think he's oh, come here. he's a millennial. Okay. Back in the day, we could collectively say, like, we don't want to vote. We think we caught them all. We'll do that eventually. But you can't suggest it. No, no, I, I'll do it. You, oh, you got to. Oh, okay. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Honestly, I wasn't surprised that I was voted out the round I was just because of the conversation that was going on that round. It was a lot about, you know, the things that I wasn't as familiar with growing up. So a lot of the video games and a lot of the anime and things like that. If everyone feels confident that you already caught the mole, you could end the game now. But if the majority has doubt, the game will continue. So please raise we your hand some more bodies. if you want to continue playing the game. Oh, oh, oh. who are you sus on, sir? Who are you sus on, sir? I, I, maybe Albert. Albert would be the only one I think is debatable, and I'm not sus on him anymore. Albert and ten beefcake and yeah. the girl from Japan. I, I am, think, I'm good on. I'd be I'm shocked. shocked. I'd be shocked. They have done such a good job that yeah. I'm not even mad, and they should get all the money. If <laughs> I must ask you a question. Do you know your love print? Well, I just did a thing. I downloaded the Nectar app and I got my love print. I'm an AWPO. Now, how's I'm ready that to, uh, for skip this advertisement. Ugh, that was cringy. Never doing that again. Oh, I thought we were just like, oh man, she must have just been in a completely different subculture than I was. Because I was like, I'm, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> Nectar. <laughs> she didn't know the video games. I was like, I didn't know there was a whole group of people that was running parallel to my experience and appreciating a whole different like side of the internet, man. Let's see if we got fooled. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got it. Yeah, I think we did too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. No. Uh, so if the lights <laughs> turn green, that means you have voted out the mole. And you win. I think Blondie was most likely to be the mole. If I had to bet on one person, I would have bet on her based on what she said. And hell, I was sus on him like one time. So Blondie, I was sus like seven. Yeah, I would say Alex or the or the or the blonde girl was probably the mole, but I still think Albert. Really? I'm, I'm you're still sus on Albert. Yeah. If you had to pick one, you're saying Albert's the mole because there's only one mole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, Albert. I, yeah, I feel. I okay. I feel like they got it. You think they? Because Blondie. Do you think yeah, they I think it? they got it, because okay. I think it's Blondie. Let's turn red, that means the mole is still in the box, and you lose. Oh, Albert, I didn't like that, though. Yeah. Yep. Oh! It's Angel. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. No. No, it's not. I know it's not you. It's, it's this motherfucker. <laughs> it thinks it's it's this motherfucker. Yeah, it is. It's him. <laughs> it's gotta be. Will the person who is Gen Z please step She's forward pissed, and reveal you see? yourselves in three? Are you sure? It's a compliment. If anything, it says like you look young. Yeah, yeah. You're, you've got youthful, vibrant energy. Oh, I said Two. Albert from the start, and he One. convinced me. No! No way! No, no. no way! What? Dog, he was talking about Dragon Ball. What did he do? Memorize Wikipedia? He said WWF. He said WWF. I didn't even know about that. <laughs> What are you, what, who is this guy? That was He's a, a time traveler. That's the only explanation. That was crazy. I would have never thought he looks the oldest too, if I'm yeah, going to be honest. Yeah, he looks like he's 40. He looks <laughs> the oldest. I, was, I think I even said like, he's an elder millennial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm Trey, I'm 22. Um, what? what? <laughs>
fuck out of here. Bitch. I remember people saying, you know, you don't look 22, you look 28. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care. I love looking mature. I relate more with an older generation than I do with, you know, Gen Z in a sense. Is Hulk Hogan um, your favorite wrestler? No, I didn't like <laughs> wrestling at all. Like, oh. He was like Sean and he didn't know the last name and I helped him. I was like, Shawn Michaels, I should have known a real WWF fan would have never not known Shawn Michaels. I should have known that. That's why shit. I said Heartbreak Kid, because I was like, okay, I remember the initials. The truth is, I don't see much of a difference between Gen Z and Millennial. You, we both grew up during the time where internet was becoming a thing. The only difference is you guys transitioned into it, and I was merely born in it. The generation before millennial, which is um, Gen Gen X, it's actually quite different. They are, like, yeah. Yes. Like, and I think that is the technology factor of like Gen X maybe you know doesn't understand that technology at all to like look into how things are going. Okay, okay. Mario Kart on the yeah. PS2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. I get all my tech tips from you. You know. <laughs> And I feel pretty true millennial, but I will say there are some factors that I feel like I can relate to some Gen Z things. I think both generations are very open and flexible to anything that is new, willing to learn, willing to educate. We try not to like judge people for who they are and what they are and things like that. He deserves uh -huh. this money. God, I yeah. Open a briefcase. He deserves this, this money. Is this a millennial thing? Holy Dude, I hurt my God. foot. I, I was so like, I stepped on something and I couldn't even process it. That was shocking. That was shocking. That was good. Oh, Absolutely sh shocking. Oh, f ah. <laughs> He's like, I don't even like WWE. Yeah, I, I don't even like it. That betrayal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Top 10 anime betrayals. Dude, he knew everything. I, did, I disagree hardcore though. Gen Z's so different than millennial. So different. I feel like even Gen Z's body language, their their um, speaking style, their sense of humor, completely different than millennial. Do you agree or disagree? Yeah, I, 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 yeah. Well, you're a cusper, so. Got a cusper. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> he was hitting everything. He was hitting like songs, albums. Yeah. He had to have older siblings or something. Yeah. He was yeah, only yeah. 22, man. That's crazy. He wasn't even like an. I wouldn't. I mean, he's an older Gen Z, but he's not like the oldest Gen Z. Yeah. I, was, I thought he was going to, oh, okay, he might be like 25, right, like literally the first year or something. I feel like, I feel like everybody in high school right now, I, I can't relate to. No, not I at all. I can't relate to. Not at all. Like older Gen Z, I think is pretty similar. But when I, so I guess like my, um, my brother-in-law would be Gen yeah. Z. Yep. I feel, I relate pretty well. Yeah. Like 90% of the I stuff. don't, but he's like older Gen yeah, Z, Yeah, older right? Gen Z, right on the edge also. Yeah. It really doesn't, it's like, there's, I still think it's, you either grew up in 2000, you grew up in 1990, or you grew up in 2010. Right. I think that's a better distinction than it is, like, you have memories from those time periods. Yeah. You actually were in, let's say, late elementary school or early middle school. Yeah, I anybody born be a, before 2000? Yeah, I, I feel, I feel like, like I have most in common, yeah. with most stuff in common with them. But that being said, did you guys... Did anybody catch him? Surely not. If you guys caught him, let us know. We love you. Subscribe. We'll see you next time. So, bye!